recruiting process was crazy. Um, it's all I it's all I imagined about. You know, you dream about playing for any school in America. You know, having an opportunity to go to college that was my biggest thing. So, the toughest part was telling the coaches I wasn't gonna go to their school and uh, tell them that thank you for recruiting me, but I'm not going there. And there's so many schools in this world. It's tough, but uh, after I seen Coach Calipari and then play one game, I think my 11th grade year, when they started recruiting me, uh, I was like, that's where I wanted to go. But I still was unsure. I, I never met him in person. I never. You know, went to the school or anything like that, so I couldn't just make a decision off that. So I went and visited other schools and talked to other coaches and just took my time in. It all came down to the best decision for me, and I felt like well, it was going to get me to the level I'm at now and make me a better player. Kentucky is always going to be a, a family in my heart. You know, the fans are so supportive. You know, they come out and support you as much. You know, a couple years before they were having downfall season, wasn't winning games. And uh, they thought it was just because me coming in was going to help them. But, I was a big key to that, but the other freshman class and the guys that turned in and, and the great coach and staff that Coach Kyler Perry and those guys brought in, we all had a determination of, that we wanted to be like brothers, so we had to go and a mindset set that we wanted to do better. So, the biggest memory is uh, proving people wrong about school. You know, people thought I wasn't going to take school serious, and after the season over, uh, they felt like I was just going to leave and not go, but I was one of the ones that stayed and finished with 3.5. So. I'm proud of myself for that. Um, memories was, you know, winning a lot of games, changing the program around, seeing the guys camp out for Big Blue Madness. Uh, it was, they was camped out for about two weeks. It's cold outside. I'm like, I don't know how y'all doing. They sleeping in tents. Some of them sleeping just in a sleeping bag. And it's a little snow outside, raining. They didn't care. They just wanted to be there to support us. So that really taught me that, you know, if you got fans like this that support you, you know, every night you step on that basketball court, you should show this respect and play as hard as you can. You know, LeBron told me, you don't got to live with all the hype. Just go out there and have fun and enjoy every moment you had to play the game and just be happy you had the opportunity to pick up a basketball. You know, some kids that wish they was in your shoes, so just be thankful and go out there and play. And uh, if, if I play like I'm supposed to, is, is I'm going to play hard every night and be competitive and I don't like losing, so that's all going to fall behind me. I feel like rebound was the, the best situation for me, you know. They gave me the opportunity to have my own shoe, be the face of the program, uh, get the Zig Tech slash shoe as the first basketball player to wear it. And, uh, get it out across the nation and uh, thank them for the opportunity to put me in their family. It's all a dream come true and sometimes today I just sit back in my room and uh, just be amazed, you know, shocked and still amazed that all this is happening and where I am today. So all this is just got to stay humble and hungry and keep working and keep wanting to prove people wrong.